Right now, a water main break causes backup in the streets. Just a mess for residents in the Grand Crossing neighborhood. And that's where our Dramont Terry joins us live. Dramont. Erica, tonight those living on this block are without any running water. Now, city water crews are on scene trying to fix the problem. And right now at 10 o'clock, you can see the street, but you can also see this big sinkhole. An hour ago, this street was completely filled with water. After days of below freezing temps, here's what 83rd and Ingleside looks like. This water is over ankle high. And it keeps rising. And it smells. This is sewer water. Those high above are safe, but Carol Chandler and other neighbors are trapped. Our front door is blocked with water and the alley entranceway is blocked with water. Even I couldn't get to her. We chatted from across the street on the phone. Her frustration is just how long it's taking city crews to respond. The water main broke around one Wednesday afternoon. The city services have not been here they came to assess the situation, but no one has come until now. After we contacted the news, we saw some results. City Water Department crews showed up around 7.15, nearly six hours later, and after numerous calls to 311, according to neighbors. We should not be last to receive city services. We're first to report crime and last to receive city services. That's how we feel. Pictures from daylight shows just how high the water came to those cars parked on the block. And while Chandler understands pipes break in the winter, she tells me this isn't the first time. We experience this flooding on a regular basis, unfortunately. As crews work to get the water cleared on the street, Chandler hopes this is the last time they show up for this. We just want some expedient service to permanently fix this problem. And tonight we know for a fact that they are working to fix what you see here, this big old sinkhole and not to mention that broken water main. Unclear tonight if this will be the permanent fix that Ms. Chandler is looking for, but hopefully it is. Reporting live in Grand Crossing tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Mm, those images, pretty incredible. Thank you, Jermont.